Where are you keeping it, Bobby? Monsieur Sultan, you old bum? What's this? Ah, you're back! You met Poppy? You've got to stop talking any day now. Zoltan, venture to say a mage would have trouble turning that owl into a parrot. Sure you know me that well? Mark my words, she'll be playing Gwent with us in no time. But we will have to talk about dandelion. So, how'd you do? Learn much? Tell me what you've got first. A few bruises and a torn doublet. Otherwise, no much a note. He wasn't stained with any of them. I've not seen hide nor hair of him in ages. All I learned was a few of Dandelion's pick-up lines. Dubious worth. Hmm. Think I might have something better. What are you waiting for? Let's have at it! Women on my list hadn't seen Dandelion in a while. All claimed he had been acting strange. Also mentioned he'd been seeing someone else. Thing is, Mystery Woman wasn't on my list. What's she supposedly like, this list? Blonde, from Kovir. A Troberitz, apparently, named Kalanetta or something like that. Uh, that makes it clear as crystal. It's Priscilla. Aye. Must be her. Who's this Priscilla? A Troberitz, like you said. Quite popular of late. Picture of Dandelion with a pair of tits and you've got the general idea. Interesting image. So how'd Dandelion handle meeting his female double? I think he fell in love. What can I say? Could be he finally met his match. She's his match, all right. Maybe more? The laddie's head's on fire. Lassie's got him whirling. All right. Guess we gotta talk to her. Priscilla works with a mummer's troop. Reynard and the Foxman. Never there in town, she performs nightly at the Kingfisher. Mean we've been sentenced to an evening of poetry? Must you always? This'll be true poetry, Geralt. You'll see. Captured and displayed in the sideshow of the circus. Well, it could be quite profitable. Be gone with you!
Discretionary tribute to benefit Redania or exile? Uh, say, I'm curious. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Is it not uncomfortable? All that steel on your back. Why it cost me? I wish it her. You're, You're right. into it now. <clears throat> Listen, there's more. Oh, Word is, here. she's not his daughter at all. Now I've seen it all. Why it cost me? My man's a sword swinger too. Uh. For King Radadin. Now what she drinks in the evening before she retires. Not milk, but blood uh. from a sorcerer's uh. scalp. And it's a sorcerer's blood, of course. Rumors, huh? rumors, rumors. Ah, here already. Come on, let's find some arse rests. Should start soon. Just 
daydream come the morning Your scent, berries tart, lilac sweet To dream of raven locks and twisted stormy Of violet eyes glistening as you weep I know not if fate would have us live as one some Tamarian boys back at White Orchard. Silence, woman. We've come to hear music. A murderer? There's a war on. Some die. Oh, please, argue this out elsewhere. Squabbles and rows again. And I was told this was a decent establishment. If I know Geralt, he risked his noggin to save someone else's arse. Save, you say? He murdered folk. Don't let him provoke you. There's the door. Settle this outside. Come. I wish to listen to music. Music? Cultural capital of the world? The fuck it is. It permits me to introduce... Uh, Alessio's Priscilla. Known also as Calinetta. As lovely as she is talented. And this... Is Geralt of Rivia, I know. Dandelion's told me a great deal about you, and I've listened with bated breath. Don't be surprised. After all, doubt I could think of a more fitting subject for a ballad than a witch's love for a sorceress. Or should I say... Sorceresses. Seems Dandelion was meticulous in telling my story, down to personal and insignificant details. Did he offer anything about himself, like where he was going? <laughs> Splendid. Very funny, truly. So, see you later. Not here. Come with me. There a reason for all this sneaking around? An excellent one. When last I saw Dandelion, he told me he was planning a heist. Siggy Reuven's vault? Shit. And I've not seen him since. Let me guess. Attempted heist was a failure. Well, he's not driven up in a gilded carriage laden with jewels, so I should think so. I've asked after him everywhere. But it seems an army of tongue-stealing cats has overrun the city. I learned only that he raised a ruckus at Horson Jr.'s lair. Then Horson's men chased him all over town. Poor son Junior. Doesn't ring a bell. Biggest prick in Novigrad. Not literally, but... Got it. You're not a fan. But what did he do to you? Try the whole town. He's one of four bosses who control the city's underworld. The others being Siggy Reuven, Carlo the Cleaver Veres, and the King of Beggars. A rascal. At least they didn't cross the church as well. Bring that venerable institution into it. Again, deep then. In. 
There I go again, rushing to Dandelion's rescue. He ought to pay me a salary. Wherever he is, I sincerely doubt he's in the mood for jokes. Nor am I, in fact. Relax. I'll get him out of this. Gotta talk to this Horson first. And Siggy Reuven. Know where I might find them? I don't know about Horson, but Reuven runs a bathhouse. Careful, though. He's a dangerous character. So am I. I don't doubt it. But Dandelion's not. I beg you to hurry up. Let me know as soon as you learn anything. Well, sleep, sleep, sleep. sleep. Bugger all to do here. <sighs> Heading back to the Rosemary. Got Bobby. Anybody there? Open up. What's the fuss? The bathhouse is closed. Need to talk to the owner. I know he's here. I'm not sure that matters, as he's terribly busy. Busy? With what? Entertaining important guests. In that case, tell him there's another one at the door. Geralt of Rivia. And I'm not leaving till I see him. <laughs> Very well. I shall try. Please wait. Siki Reuven cordially invites you to join him. I'm happy. The meeting is in the baths. We will pass through the dressing room so you can leave your clothes. Let's go. You'll make this robe here. Your equipment will be safe. Splendid! Siggy Reuven awaits in the next room. Hi, Whitehead. Nice fun you have. <laughs> you were right. He Did doesn't she? change. Oh, oh. He's out. Then ordered them to shove it up the corpse's ass. And then he sent the body back. Oh, he was as big as He's hung like a horse. <laughs> Clear that you've not seen Reuven. Good drink, Cole. Poor son, got me in right. Chose not to come. <laughs> Easy, Cleaver. Or son Junior's a dead man. I'll have my scribe send you a notice. You don't have a scribe. And we'll eliminate Junior when, and only when, all of us say aye. Reuven, your guest. Why the fuck you let him in here? Because I want to talk to him. This is Geralt of Rivia. Good to see you again. As always, I'm out of the swiping loop. Who the fuck are you? I'm a witcher. Problems with your plumbing? Nah, it's under control. Geralt's a friend from the old days. Although... Got intruders. Someone just snuck inside the bathhouse. Several men. What the fuck's he on about? Plowing fortune teller. Assassins! Please, no! Ah! 
bloody hell. I fucking knew it. Any weapons tucked away? Just a few. First ever party with my prick hanging out. Ah! Come on, come Work, gents. Terribly sorry for that incident. My security failed. I'll get to the bottom of who, why, and how. They were horse on scum. That's the bottom of who and how right there. Don't start that again. Especially not in front of our guest. Who pranced in right before they attacked. Coincidence? Why do I doubt it? Let's give him a chance to explain. I'm looking for Horson Jr. Interesting. What do you want with him? Junior's gonna help me find someone. Horson's not helped a soul in all his miserable life. I'll ask him nicely. See, Cleaver? Perhaps if you'd not called Junior an uncle fucker and asked him nicely, he'd have showed up today. Gentlemen, you out of your fucking minds. A chat session. Horse son's out to get us, and he'll succeed eventually. We've got to kill him first. So by all means, you sit here, soak, fart, and watch the bubbles rise, while I send my boys to Horse son's hidey holes. They'll make some noise, flush the bugger out. And you, geriatric, or whatever your plowing name is, Want to find horse, son? Find me first. Any clue on Junior's whereabouts? Be grateful for any lead. Siggy? It's worth a try. Geralt's got a knack for finding people. And he's discreet. A value in itself. Leave you to it, then. I'll, uh, look in on you tomorrow, Francis. Finish our talk. So how about we get dressed? Sure, sure. Then we'll talk. In private. Right mess that was. Never thought I'd be glad to see the man responsible for my taking frequent baths. If you're any cleaner for it, gotta say it was worth breaking your ankle. It healed poorly. Can you believe it? I must soak it in hot water at least six times a day now. Failing that, it bloody pounds like the bells of Beauclair at dawn. Sorry to hear that. You're s Well, consider it resolved then. Now, mind showing some added compassion could mean a miraculous recovery to me. Listen, Reuben. No, Dijkstra. Just not in the mood for your code names, passwords, and other bullshit. I'm here on specific business. If you want to listen, listen. If not, I'd rather you spared me your wit and threw me out now. Ah, uh, what's the harm? Talk. You think Cleaver will find Orson? He might. He might not. But he'll burn down half the city trying. What waste. Leave him to it, I say. Work alone. Any ideas? Junior's got areas of the city where he's strong. Penetrate them, look around. But be discreet. None of this speed and fury and swinging your steel cock about. Mm. 
Makes sense to ask around, I guess. Junior might be in hiding, but he's got to be collecting income. Couldn't afford to cut himself off. Gambling. That's his big earner. Junior controls the largest casino in town. I'll never forget. Hierarch Hemelfart raised all kinds of hallowed hell there once. Bugger bet lost his ruby ring. Then there's the arena in the city's bowels. Betting scheme generates near as much as the casino. They're always looking for hired muscle there. Suppose you could always search Horson's house. Though I doubt you'll find him there. Maybe some clue, though. Where's Junior's casino? Near the Temple Watch Towers. Orson's got now to do with a casino officially, so careful what you say. Try not to arouse any suspicions. Arena sounds promising. Where's that? Sewers beneath Gildorf, but you'll have to enter through the pits. Endure the stench of poverty on the way. Now, Junior loves a good fight. Wager he'd give a lot to see a real witcher in action. Mentioned Horson's got a house. Where is it? Solid townhouse on Temple Isle, just on the other side of the bridge. Wouldn't wager me knickers on finding him there. Junior's not that stupid. See if I can't find Horson at the casino or the arena. Might talk to Cleaver as well, though. Do what you will. Just be cautious. Horson's expecting payback. I've no doubt. Thanks for your help, Dijkstra. Just go, Witcher. And if you can't find the slimy bastard, come and see me. I know him well. Might figure something out. Listen, Dandelion's missing. Any idea what might have happened to him? Same thing that happens to anyone who steps on Junior's toes. Meaning? He's surrounded by splendid virgins who ply him with sparkling wines stuffed with nightingale's tongues. Come, Geralt, what do you think's happened to him? I reckon he's at the bottom of the pontar, trussed up with the strings of his old mandolin. Loot. Far as I'm concerned, he might as well be rotting down there with a goddamn trombone. You wouldn't happen to have a bone to pick with Dandelion, would you? Of course I do. You serious? Dead serious. Dandelion published a sonnet recently. Second stanza, the shit uses paired couplets instead of an inserted rhyme. Surely you understand how deeply offended the poetry lover in me was. The bastard shan't get away with it. I was being serious. As am I when I say I have exactly no time to worry about your gigolo boyfriend. Got me own problems. Problems you might be able to help me with. And if you did, why then I might be inclined to ask after Dandelion, establish what happened to him. Don't have time right now. Then come back when you do. It's everywhere. I, I, I see it all around. Get here. Ah! 
That's it, Roach. Come on. His name is Roach. Seems to me I've heard the of you before, so I'm certain. Dwarves were thorough as debt collectors. Didn't leave a scrap. We bit busy, mate. Nice razors you got there. Seems to me I've heard of you before, my dear. All roads lead to Mahakam. Nothing interesting here. has been scrubbed clean. Mine's like war. Never know when you're done for. Uh! Oi! Ah! Oi! Hard time fighting the water here, watch out. What's he doing here? Hello, 
of Avelia. Last words. Greetings. Don't know you, not letting you in, and don't you fucking stand there. I want my chance in the arena. Come in. Who's in charge? Igor. I call him Hook. What the bloody hell was that? A bout of sudden sincerity. Get ready. Your turn now. I am ready. Remember our deal? Ah! I switched yeah. this all for a rusty one. You need to hold on for it. Where's your coin? Mind the guards. That's it. We agreed on more. Take it. I need work. What can you do? Good with a sword. Wouldn't scoff at working as protection. And who here would you protect? Horson Jr.'s made a load of enemies. I know that much. Maybe I can be of use. Junior can take care of himself. You needn't fret about him. But I can't help wonder how you know this place belongs to him. Heard it does. That's all. Forget you heard of Junior. Keep Elfie. That's my advice. Fine. All in all, don't really care who I'm gonna protect. Just looking for work. Crowds can spin out of control. Somebody's gotta keep the peace. Hmm. Claim any kind of experience. I'm a witcher. I kill monsters for coin. Been doing it all my life. Humans won't be a problem. A guard must fight sometimes, but that's not most important. The essential question is, can you control yourself? And can you control a crowd? Been taught how to slow down or speed up my heart rate, how to dilate my pupils and alter my metabolism. My medallion vibrates when danger's near, and I know a few simple spells. Hmm, I'll have to test you. I want to see how you're managing a fight, if you can fight at all. You shall fight in the arena. Survive three bouts, and I'll put you to work. Set me up. Already have. Shall we start right away, or do you need time to prepare? Always prepared. Excellent. Let's see what you're worth. Remember, you fight to the death. The crowd doesn't take kindly to those who spare their foes. Let's do this. Ready your purses! Betting is open! From the far east, where a man's life is worth less than a cup of water. A witcher! A murderous mutant! His opponent, Gustav Rohn! A man who cut his way out of his mother's womb with a knife! 
Scragdom Farrah. They tell me a true bruise had come to the arena. Would you believe it? They were right. Thanks. I'd like to know who's congratulating me. <laughs> Slow, ain't ya? Came here to end me, and you've no notion what I look like. Well, we've not had enough. Now, Cleaver's dwarves are in the sewers. They've slaughtered the guards. Don't stand here like a sodden prick at a wedding. 
Master the men and get out those magics. And would someone please kill the blasted witcher? You heard the man. Kill him. Eternal fire. Ah! I've got a piece of a rice horse. Slow now. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh,